I'm John Cedino. And I'm Ty Benoit. And this is a Q and A. Yeah. So we we're going to do is we're gonna answer a lot of your questions and boy did we get a lot of a lot of doozies. <laughs> I don't wanna answer them, but I'm told that I have to. Yeah, it's in his contract. So let's take a look at the first question. This one's directed towards both of us. Both of us, okay. <laughs> did you do any series before the Utica Home Track series? This is from Joe Allen. Hi, Joe. And no, I have not done any series whatsoever. Same here. Now, Utica Home Track series was my first series. I have watched some series, though, on TV, like... You know, TV shows, but I've never done a series like this. Yeah. Yeah. One of a kind original. All right, here's another one from Joe Allen. Hi, Joe. Have you ever thought about quitting? And if you have, who or what stopped you from doing so? Have you ever thought about quitting? No. I love doing Rally Cross. Yep. I mean, Rally Cross is fun to do, especially when we get to race the each event. If you guys wanted to know how that worked. That might be a new question. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Whoa! Well, the creative minds of these people. But, uh, no, I have never thought about quitting yet. It's fans like you that keep us going, keep us making content like this. That's the only drive that we're getting. Because we're sure as hell not getting paid. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I do. I have a job. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, well, you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at some other questions. These are two questions from Monster Madness 26. Monster Madness! Yeah. Monster Madness! Okay, do you follow any other sports besides stock car racing? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Tyler does. Yeah, I'm a big basketball fan, football fan. I'm a swimmer myself. I like to watch it during the Olympics. Basically, if a sport's on, I'll watch it. That's how it works. I enjoy me a good curling every now and again. <laughs> Yes. I mean, um, I would if I had more time today, day, I would watch rugby, because rugby seems pretty cool. Yeah, I was watching some rugby. It's like football on, like, steroids. That was amazing. Really? Yeah, it really? was cool. It was fun? Yeah, it was really fun. Was, were, football is kind of on steroids anyways. So. Yeah, but, like, there wasn't, like, stops. They just kept going. You got a point there. You got a point there. And, uh, who do you think will win the 2013 Sprint Cup title by the same person? Uh, well... I'm not sure how closely you follow NASCAR. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm going to guess. You know who it's going to be? Who is it going to be? It's going to be... Go on. Yeah, go on. Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle. You heard it right here, folks. Greg Biffle. Greg Biffle. <laughs> I'm going to back him up on this. This is the year of the Biffle. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see. What other uh, ones do we have? Um, GTA 4 Man Helper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> has, uh, he likes to help men. Yeah. Hey, it's good to ha have people helping. Yeah, it's always good. Always lending a helping hand. Yeah. He asks, what system do you use? Um, I'm assuming by system he means computer system. I use an Asus. Yep. It's pretty good. Yep. That's a job. It doesn't sound pretty good. It sounds good after I broke the USB port. John, you start something up. It goes, hey, that was the past, but then I broke the USB port and now it's quiet. It's quiet now? Yeah, it hasn't made horrible gut-wrenching noises of pain in years. Apparently. Yeah, what about you? What system do you use? Well, well, <laughs> this. Do you use an Asus too? Well, actually, yeah, I do use, I have an Asus laptop at home. Yeah, that's what kind of... If you're talking about a game system, well, I'm more of an Xbox man, but now I'm going to change to PlayStation because Xbox One sucks. You heard it right here, folks. Get that PlayStation 4. Yes. He told you to. Me, I have Xbox 368, PC, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1. Uh, I go all over Oh, the I have all gaming systems, if that's what we're talking about. Let's go on to the next question from... Yeah. Uh, same, same person. He asked, what is love? You, you, got, you take it away. You go first. What is love? No, baby, don't hurt me. Don't, don't hurt me. No more. What is love? But in all seriousness, if we take a look here at Webster's Dictionary. Oh, hold on, let's check this out here. Yeah, let's see. Hold on. <laughs> He's got a guy. Webster's Dictionary defines love as Strong affection or liking for someone or something, a passionate affection of one person for another, the object of such affection, a sweetheart or lover, 
Um, in tennis, it is a score of zero. Um, and then there's other things to, to feel in love, to begin to feel love, feeling love, to woo or embrace, to have sexual intercourse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we uh, took care of that question for you there. Let's see. <laughs> what tracks are... Let's see. Um, Rove Nami has asked the questions, what is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything? And I would have to say... Our channel, the You to Go Home Check series, so you guys better subscribe. You know, my answer to this question is. Come here, come here closer. Come here. Yeah. No, not like that. No, no, <laughs> come here, come here. It's a secret. I don't matter. It's pizza. <gasps> oh, 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 I do think Greg Biffle is the meaning of life. What? <laughs> yes, yes, Greg Biffle. And Bethel. his second question is what tracks would you like to include in 2014? My backyard. Yes. You heard here f first, folks. We have took his backyard, which can fit maybe two cars, and have rendered it into a racetrack for NASCAR Racing 2003. You can get it anywhere, and our 2003 yes. jacks are sold. Yes, yes, you can. And it's now going to be on the NASCAR circuit. It's going to be. There are going to be NASCAR drivers racing in my backyard. Yeah, it should be fun, and I hope you can have good catering. I hope so, too. All right, let's see. We got some more questions here from Blue Thunder Fan Racing. He asks, what are your favorite console games? Ooh. Oh, man, this is hard. Well, let's see. We got that and that and that. They can't see that, Tyler. I know. <laughs> <laughs> here, we'll, uh, we'll take a pause and we'll splice a picture of that now. Right now. All right, we're back. So, did you enjoy it? Well, anyway, I mean, it's very hard to pick. I'm a big fan of the Tony Hawk series. Big fan of the NASCAR series. I've got basically every game from 98 to now. Um, I also like Red Dead Redemption, Skate 3, stuff like that. I'm more of a shooter game gamer. I've also, I'm an RPG gamer myself. I mean, I've, I'm a hardcore Zelda player, man. Anything you deal with RPG going on an adventure, that's me. Yeah, I'm I'm the racing and creation game guy. He's the uh, first person shooter RPG guy. Yes, I am. All right, let's see. Let's take a look. Do we have more questions? Let's switch over to this list of questions that we've gotten here, and we have a question from eight six seven five three zero nine eight five eight. Eight six seven five three zero nine eight six seven. I think that's anyway, what we're going for. What was your favorite <laughs> NR two thousand three race you have ever watched? <laughs> well, Tyler doesn't watch many, so I don't. I, I don't think you have a favorite. <laughs> Greg Biffle's win. Oh yeah, Greg Biffle. He runs yeah, the best yeah. out of 2003 leagues. You he should does. subscribe to Greg Biffle's YouTube channel. Yes. Me? Oh, it's so hard to pick because there's a lot of really quality people out there. We got yeah. the NSCRA, we got NASCAR, uh -huh. we got a lot of great people out there, mm -hmm. and you guys are doing a great job as well. I'm I, starting I new, just can't pick. I'm starting a new channel myself now. Oh, you are. Yeah. Great Biffle Fan Club channel? Yep. yep. Awesome. Yeah, uh -huh. Awesome. So subscribe to that if you want up-to-date knowledge on your Greg Biffle. Yes. We have another question from 8675309858. Are you excited that you finally have NR2003? And I can only answer that with one thing. Yeah! <laughs> and it's stolen now. Get back. Anyway, <laughs> how many young jokes will you make in 60 seconds? Okay, let's set the stopwatch here. All right, here we go, John. You're going to go first here. Ready, set, go. Well, I think he asked that question a little prematurely. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> That's... All right, well, he may be too young for this race. Savannah had to get the, you know, the nostalgic here. Here you go. Well, I think he came up a little short. Ooh. <laughs> no, we'll stop there. We'll stop there. We'll stop there. I guess you can say he... Took too many one wooden nickels. It doesn't make any sense. What would that doesn't make any sense? No, just no. Next question. Next question. All right, let's see. Oh, we're back from Joe Allen. He's gotten some Hi, Joe. things. His first question is similar to the one he asked earlier here, 
And uh, the second one here, hey Tyler, what was your reasoning behind bringing your family into the series? It's been a struggle sometimes to family because we're just so competitive and sometimes me and my father get to do it over what's best for the team. So what made you bring the Benoit family on the team and fire the golden boy, the black mamba, Matt Evans? Well, Matt's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I signed him. <laughs> yeah, no. No, Matt Evans is, uh, he's a good driver, but I felt like if I brought that family element in, I'd feel more comfortable, you know? I felt that I'd feel more comfortable. They're not doing as well as I thought they would. How's um, that championship going, Todd? I don't want to talk about it. Um, yeah. So, that's basically my reasoning. I want to keep it family bound. I want to see if I can keep us connected. I feel like I'd be more comfortable that way. Okay, one last question from Joe Allen up here. He's been really, he's been really curious. So he says, uh, John, you said that you were familiar with Lindsey Sterling was your favorite song by her. Um, I said I was familiar with Lindsey Sterling. I'm not, I don't know, uh, I'm not a huge fan of Lindsey Sterling, not to discredit her. I just don't know many songs by her. I, she did dubstep violin, I believe, so I will have to say that because that's the one I most know by her. Wee wee nee. That's what a violin sounds like. Well, True well, fact. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, 48 fam from the sky. <laughs> no, from Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> from the sky. What's your favorite NASCAR driver? Well, Greg Biffle! Greg Biffle. <laughs> May, if you were looking at the opposite wall here, it's just completely covered in Jeff Gordon posters, so I'm a, I'm a huge Jeff Gordon fan. Let's go to a picture here. right now. Did you like it? Yeah, did you of like course it? You yeah, did, yeah, you're you a did. junior fan. <laughs> so anyway, we have but one final question here. Or Actually, several. one block of questions All here right. from Diego Ruiz. And if you are an underage <laughs> member of this community, I would suggest walking out of the room now <laughs> and crying in your cellar for the next minute. So alright, Diego Ruiz has asked many questions including and also these are all for Tyler. We must signify these are all for Tyler. How many times a week do you fast? <laughs> About seven times a week. Yeah, seven times a week. How much gay are you? <laughs> Zero. Are you Zero. gay for mole men? No, no, no. <laughs> have you ever taken a bad word while racing or recording went on? <laughs> have you ever taken a dump when either of those happened? No. No, I've never, I've never taken a dump during That's that why time. they call you Tyler the Clean Colon Benoit. Yes. <laughs> have you ever pissed on somebody? <laughs> no. No, I haven't. R? Oh, it was that one time. Oh, yeah. When I was a baby. <laughs> yeah, in Reno. Yes. Um, are bitches crazy? Yes, they are very crazy. Really? Indeed. Yes. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> have you ever humped a girl softly on a public crowded place? Um. What about Reno? Yeah, Reno, yeah. Reno. Reno. Yeah. Reno. Yeah, I did a lot of stuff at Reno. <laughs> yeah, also, remember when we got invited to that dance car party? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. man, those things are wild. Mm -hmm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next question. <laughs> have you ever fired while having sex? Yes. Yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have, good sir. <laughs> and proud. <laughs> I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> well, at least I know my... <laughs> <laughs> this one here asks, is Tyler gay? <laughs> no, I'm not gay. Are you and Tyler a gay couple? Yeah, buddy. No. Uh, no. No, no, no. 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 I'm way above him. Why is Obama so racist about the Trayvon Martin case? Because he's black, y'all. Yeah, because he's so... Because he just doesn't understand. Honestly, about the whole thing, though, I'm more of a neutral person. I don't really try and get involved with it. That's yeah, I mean, I disagree with the result, but I don't think it should go the complete opposite direction. I think they should have given him maybe... Maybe a manslaughter charge. I think it should be right down. Yeah, right down. Yeah, down the middle. Down the middle. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm more of a moderate, so yeah. I really. Yeah, we don't really try to take sides. Will you use the right to kill your president? <laughs> no, 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 no. I want to live. Mm -hmm. 
And, uh, well, I think that the last part there was why, yes, or no. I think we've answered why. I want to live. And our last question comes from Matt Evans. He asks, what's your favorite type of candy? Hmm. That's a tough one. Oh, man. Oh, so many. What candy do I eat the most in your house? <laughs> Well, that's just candy in general. Yeah, well, I mean, well, what's my favorite? What candy do I usually want? You know what? Those little, those little caramel things with the cream inside. Oh, man, those yeah. mad delicious. Yeah, those are mad delicious. You know what's also good? Sour Patch Kids. Oh, yeah, Sour Patch Kids. They destroy kids. your tongue if you eat, like, 80 of them at once. What about those, uh, those, um, those, the head, like, the, the big head thing, the, the, the sour thing. The... I read really you to Diego Ruiz's question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. Yeah, yeah. Skittles are good, too. Yeah, Skittles are good, too. Delicious Skittles. Yes. Well, uh, thank you for all your questions, especially you, Diego. Yes, Who Diego. thought outside of the box. No, it's a triangle. <laughs> I love you. All right. Thank you for being with us for all these years, unless you just subscribe now. In that case, stay longer. Please stay. We're going to get better and better as we go along. Please. <laughs> we need love. Please. <laughs> We've re researched the definition and we do need love. Yeah, it's in this book. Wait, this is in the book. Where did, the book. The, where did I put that dictionary? Well, this is. The, this is actually the answer to life's problems. <laughs> yeah. Greg Biffle. Who, uh, was Greg Biffle in this game? I don't know Was Greg Biffle in this game. You're not really good at this whole thing, are you? Oh, there's the beta test, dude. I think we've answered enough questions for you guys. <laughs> Alright, thank you for submitting your questions, everyone. Everyone who submitted questions, you're far superior than the rest. Mm -hmm. Alright, catch you later. Thank See you. See you on the flip side.